The city of Raleigh will consider investing more than a million dollars into making downtown more attractive. CBS 17th Judith Ratana getting answers about what these investments would mean, not just for downtown, but the city as a whole. My business is here. I, I really, my, my heart is here. Owner of Gecko and living downtown for decades, Pam Blondin is deeply connected to downtown Raleigh. She's seen changes here over the years, and post-COVID, it's time to adapt again. When people come here, we want them to have that, oh, I can't wait to come back. I want to go do this, and I want to eat lunch there. The Downtown Raleigh Alliance will ask City Council to approve about a million dollars worth of investments to breathe new life into downtown. It's part of a larger, long-term plan to revitalize downtown Raleigh. Given how much value downtown has, it generates a lot of tax value uh, for the entire city. It's important to invest. The money would be used for beautification projects like murals, making crosswalks safer, finding new ways to hide garbage bins, and it would even make the temporary Moore Square dog park permanent. While there are places to sit here, there is limited shade at Moore Square. The Downtown Raleigh Alliance hopes installing more shady structures will entice people not only to come here, but to stay here too. It's a a lot of people coming downtown. We want them to come into the rest of downtown, you know, eat, shop, and enjoy themselves and stay. Blondin cares a lot about downtown, investing her own money into things like sidewalk murals. We've been very actively trying to create a very unique experience when people come downtown, not like you're going to a mall that's outside or seeing stores that are the same as other cities. After all, as the state's capital, she believes this isn't just Raleigh's Main Street, it's North Carolina's. Zero doubt in my mind that the success of downtown will make all boats rise. In Raleigh, Judith Hartana, CBS 17 News.